Hi everybody, Kurt Zepp here. I'm sorry if I'm going to be tongue twisting during this video. I'm gonna to try to do it in one or two shots. So this can be considered part two of my new Antlia three nanometer filters versus my trusty rusty seven nanometer ZWO filters, which I've had for years. I made a previous video, which I'll post a link to, where I purchased the three nanometer uh, O3 filter, which is what I got first because oxygen is the worst one. And, and if that's the hardest one to uh, take images with, and that's gonna show the most profound effect with the uh, three nanometer versus uh, seven nanometer, or at least that's what I believe and that's what I've read. And I wasn't planning on getting the HA so soon after I was I was gonna sort of stagger them out at least a couple months three or four months but it turns out based on the results of the oxygen I I was flabbergasted at the how much difference there was there it was a big difference so I said geez I want to get these sooner than expected so I went out and purchased the hydrogen and that's what this video is I mean I've I've tested out the hydrogen. Now, I was thinking I would be able to do a whole video and show you the completed nebula because if you look on the dates when I did the oxygen, it was December 29th and I posted the video on January 2nd. It is now January 25th and all I've managed to do is do one quick test with the hydrogen since then. The weather has never been good here in Southern Connecticut, but over this past month, it has been horrible. It is worse than it's been for a long time. I've hoped to have get, I hope to get like seven hours of, or eight hours of each on oxygen, hydrogen, and sulfur, but so far, I'm far from that. Uh, I'm hoping to get maybe five hours of each, and it's still, I've, I've only managed to get some of the sulfur. I've gotten about five hours of oxygen, and that's it. Over almost 30 days now, it's been constant clouds, rain, crappy weather, it's, it's been horrible. Anyway, so if I if if I ever get this video get this object done, I'll be I'm gonna make another video with the whole thing combined, and, and you'll see the final result. But in the meantime, I figured I'd do a real short, quick video uh, update or part two of the video, so you can see the so, uh, how the hydrogen fares. And I'm pr I'm not gonna get the sulfur uh, until probably another couple months. So I'll have this object done with just oxygen and hydrogen, and I'll throw the sulfur in there, even though it's uh, not with the antlia, but I, oh well. Anyways, let's go take a look. Okay, folks, here I am. I've got Pix Insight, and let me boot up what I've got here. So this here, what you're seeing right now, this is the ZWO, using the ZWO HA, 7 nanometer HA filter, and again, it's IC410, which is the Tadpole Nebula. And by all intents purposes, this is pretty good. This actually is three five minute subs and all I've done is I've stacked them. I didn't do any processing. The only thing I have done with it is I, I did darks bias, but there's, I didn't even do the flats on it. I just, like I said, this is a pretty much a stacked image. What you see is what you got. And I didn't even do a background extraction either. I just left it as is to do a, a good comparison. So here's the ZWO, and now let's take a look at the Antlia, and then we'll do a, a closer inspection. And there it is. ZWO, seven nanometer, Antlia, three nanometer. And there is a big difference. And let's just take a look and talk about these differences. Now, the one big difference that you can see is the star size. The star size of the antlia is much smaller, much more defined, and much sharper. And that actually makes sense if you think about it, because three nanometers is it's blocking much more 
light than the 7 nanometers. So it's not surprising that the star size uh, would be better. And what that does, it makes the outer nebular regions here much more defined as well. And I don't know if you guys can see this or what you can actually see on the YouTube video, but this is clear. There's a clear definition here, and it looks really sharp. Here, it's, it's not as sharp. It's, the stars are much larger. And even the ADU readings, when it was collecting data, this over here was a bit less. So it was just blocking in a lot of the background light as well. And you can actually see the outer nebulosity much more defined here in the, using the seven, uh, 3 nanometers as opposed to the 7 nanometers. So it's much more diffuse in here. And looking at these regions right here, without zooming in yet, you can actually see it looks much more defined, much sharper using the anlio, which is good. Now, if we scroll into the this region, which is part of my favorite region, same thing with the Antlia looks the same. And actually, this ZWO looks pretty good, though. It's not bad. As I said, I'm, I'm impressed with the ZWO filters, and I was when I first purchased them. And they did give a clear definition of this region right here. And you can see the comparison region over here with the Antlia. Again, the Antlia is much better. I, I, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can. So the Antlia is clearly better, but the the ZWO did a pretty good job, so I was, I'm happy with the ZWO. And you can look in here, and again, the Antlia is better, which is good since I purchased the thing. But again, you know, the ZWO is, is I'm happy with the ZWO, especially considering what I paid for it. Now, the tadpoles themselves, these are, geez, I'm, Antlia may be a little bit better. I'm not seeing great difference in that so so the tadpoles themselves toss up and antlias is a little bit better but again as far as the star size goes and the rest of the whole nebulosity the three nanometer antlia is great improvement over the seven nanometer zwo filters all right well there you have it that's what you're in for if you purchase these uh, antlia filters Okay, there you have it, folks. Uh, these, these 3 nanometer antlia filters are definitely a good buy based on the oxygen and hydrogen uh, comparisons that I've done. And I hope to do another video after I get done with this crazy object, if the weather ever clears. I'm hoping to have it done before summer, but <laughs> who knows with this weather around here. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.